Hey everyone, it's Wows, and today we're looking at SimCity 4 uh, and running SimCity 4 on Windows 8. SimCity 4 can run on Windows 8. It has a few issues that are really, really common that a lot of folks complain about. It took me a while to get the game to work correctly. So once you install the game, um, one of the first things is during the installation, uh, it stops about 49%, that's when you need to switch disks. Um, but the overlay that says like insert disk 2 shows up behind the installation screen, so that took me a few minutes to figure out. Um, another thing is that if you uh, got this from Steam, you probably don't have this problem, but if you bought the actual box set, um, it says that the key to the game is located on the back of the box, and it is not. It's located on the back of the instruction manual inside of the box of the Deluxe Edition. Um, so we're going to launch this, and I'm actually going to show you in Task Manager um, one really common problem is the game was created to run on a um, single core processor because the game came out in the 19 uh, in the 2003 um, and so it can be an issue it's not an issue for me um, I haven't had this issue but a lot of users do um, and so I want to be sure to show you how um, to switch this so that if that is a problem for you if you are somebody who can't get the game to run, you may want to look at this if you have a multi-core processor, which almost everybody does now. Um, and so what you're going to do is you need to go from the process menu you saw, you can't grab it, uh, you can't get to the menu that you need to, so you go to details and it's SimCity 4 EXE. Um, and you're going to go to set affinity. And you can see here, right now it's running on all processors, but you can choose, um, you know, just click one of the processors if that's an issue for you, if the game will not load. So that's one way that can fix if you can't get the game to launch correctly by setting affinity and switching to one single core. Now, as I mentioned, I don't have that issue. Um, I can run it. I have a quad core processor, and um, I have no issue with that as far as this game is concerned. So then once you launch the game, I'm going to show you the issue that I had, the graphics issue that um, does seem to affect a lot of people. And so I'm going to just load up one of my cities here, and I'll show you what happens. Okay, so as we load it, you can see here, once we move, you can see all the shadows disappear, all the trees disappear. Um, you know, it basically it's how it's glitching, it's graphically glitching. Whenever you move, you can see all the details disappear off the map. So there's an easy way to fix this, okay? So what you need to do is you need to pause it here. You need to go into your graphic settings and you can um, grab these from either the main menu or from in the game down at the bottom if you hit the three dots. Um, and what you need to do is change the renderer. The renderer needs to be on software. Um, so instead of having your super awesome video card render the game, you need to have the software render the game. Um, and you can go in and you can adjust a bunch of the stuff if you want um, to get higher video settings because all it kind of defaults to um, not that great of settings. So what we're going to do is save. It needs to restart. So we're going to quit without saving. We're going to exit back out to Windows. And then we're going to relaunch SimCity 4. And now it should load those new settings. And I'll show you the by rendering with the software, um, it should eliminate the disappearing textures that we saw in that initial video. Um, and that makes the game yeah, run yeah. much more smoothly. One of the biggest problems, I think, with The Sims and the EA games, The Sims 3 has the same problem, is it's not optimized very well for faster computers. Um, I can play most games like Dota 2 and a bunch of other games. I can load them. I have an SSD hard drive. I have 8 gigs of RAM. I have like a new computer that I built with my own parts. Um, and it runs everything really, really fast except EA games. Um, they just do not do a very good job of optimizing stuff for any sort of faster. So now you can see here, once you start um, moving around, everything stays. And we're at, um, looks like some of the graphic settings didn't say. Let's see. Yeah, the waves disappeared. And so, yeah, it's hard to get some of it to stay, but there we go. Now we're seeing some of the waves down there. Um, 
now we're at really the top graphical settings, which should be no problem for uh, most current PCs because this is, again, an 11 year old game. So, hopefully, that's a helpful video for you. I'm hoping to do a Let's Play with SimCity 4 in the near future, um, but I just wanted to show you. So, hopefully, that will fix some of the problems if you're having problems with the game because I know I was, and this is a favorite game of mine. It's way better than the new SimCity. Um, so, hopefully, those will help you if you're running into these issues with Windows 8 and SimCity 4. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you like the video, if you have other questions, feel free to leave me a comment, uh, like the video, or subscribe to my channel. And I'm happy to try to help you out if you have any problems, although, yeah, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. Bye.